What's up YouTube, this is Tube Digger. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to send program change messages from your MPC X or MPC Live to an external MIDI device that you've got connected to your MPC. Before I get into this video, I just wanna thank all my current subscribers, anyone that's liked and shared my videos, and of course, anyone that's been kind enough to donate to the channel. If you'd like to do that yourselves, there's a PayPal link in the description and you can donate any amount of your choosing and I'd be forever grateful. I also run private tuition via Google Hangouts. If you want more details on that, please contact me at tubedigger at gmail.com. So for those of you that aren't too sure what you can achieve with program change messages, in basic terms, it's the ability to send a message to your synthesizer from the MPC sequencer at a given point in that sequence, and it will switch the sound that's playing back from your synthesizer or your drum machine, etc. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. The first thing that I'd like you to do, if you'd like to follow on, is open up your MPC and make sure you're in a blank project. The next thing that we wanna do is switch the track type to the MIDI track type. As you can see, it's this icon in the bottom middle, in the middle of our track field here. So down below, this is where you get access to your MIDI program parameters. So the MIDI program is MIDI 001. If we wanna create additional ones, we press the plus symbol, as you probably know. Over here, you've got the MIDI port that the MPC is sending the MIDI information out to whatever device you wanna send the program change message to. You can see you can select four on the MPC X and two on the MPC Live. So I'm just gonna use MIDI out A for the sake of this video. Down below, you can see it says program change. We wanna ignore this here. All we want to do is make sure that we set the MIDI channel to the same channel that the MIDI device that you're sending the messages to is the same MIDI channel number. So I'm just gonna keep mine at number one. Now over here you've got your bank MSB and bank LSB. These are the messages that get sent to an external MIDI device to tell that device which bank to choose the program from. We're not gonna use these in this tutorial. We're gonna use the list editor to send these messages. So this is the key bit of information that you need to know to send a program change to your external MIDI device. So hopefully you're running either MPC 2.3 or 2.4, because in that firmware, you can now press and hold menu, press pad 15, and that will take you straight to the list editor. If you're on a previous firmware, just press menu and list edit is up here. It's exactly the same thing. Or you can double tap, if you're on the MPC X, your step sequencer button, and that will take you there. So the first thing that we wanna do is insert an event. At the bottom of your screen, you'll see insert. So we wanna insert that there. In here, we get access to the particular position in the sequence that we wanna send that message. So let's say that I wanna send a program change at bar 17. That means my first patch in my synthesizer will stay as it is for 16 bars right up to bar 17, and then it will switch bang on bar 17. So I need to choose the bar to be bar 17, the beat to be one, and tick to be zero. You can set your program change to occur at any point in your sequence. I'm just gonna show you this at a logical position in the sequence. Underneath, you've got the type of message. So we wanna send a track automation message. And at the bottom, we've got the actual parameter that we wanna send. So the first thing that we wanna send is a bank LSB message. That will choose the bank from the external synth where the program that we wanna select resides. So that is CC32. If you scroll up with your data wheel, you'll see it goes from CC31 and then it goes to bank select LSB. I do apologize, I can't adjust the exposure for you guys to see that, but the bottom field there, if you've got your MPC open, you'll see that CC32 is bank select LSB. If I press do it, you'll see that it's now added two of these bank select LSB messages. It's added one at the very first bar and the very first beat and the very first tick. And it's added the same message type at bar 17. And I'll talk to you about that in a minute. The next message that we wanna send is the actual program number. So let's insert a new event. Let's choose bar 17 again. So again, we want it to be a track automation 
and the parameter needs to be program change. If you scroll with your data wheel clockwise all the way to the very last parameter, which is solo, and then just scroll three back or anti-clockwise and you get to program change. And we press do it. So you can see it's done the same thing. We've got the bank LSB as our first message at bar one. We've also got the program change, it's added that after it. And it's done the same at bar 17 for the bank LSB and also the program change. Now, this is good because we want to set the first program change when our sequence starts. So whatever sound you want your synth to make when the sequence starts, you want to set the bank first. So let's tap on this value over here where it says 127. And let's say you want to choose a sound from bank one. So you just press do it, go down to the next parameter, change the value for the program change. And let's just say for argument's sake, I want to change the sound or program or patch 23 in my external synth. So the sequence will start. And if you've got it on something different from bank one and sound 23, you'll see it automatically change as soon as you press play start on your MPC. Now when it gets to bar 17, this is where you want to select the patch that you want the MPC to switch your synthesizer to. So let's double tap on that. We can choose the uh, same bank, bank one. Let's just choose a different bank. Let's say your synth has three banks. So press do it. And again, this is now where you want to select the actual program that you want to switch to at bar 17. So let's double tap on that. It's going to switch from program 23 to program 27, for example. And that's it. That's all you need to do. And any other program changes, you just do exactly the same thing. Unfortunately, for some reason, you can't double tap on these and edit the actual time that that changes. If we just double tap on here, we can't actually change that or any of these. We can change the values, but we can't change the actual type. If you want to add a new event in place of this, you do have to delete and reinsert a new event. I hope this video has been useful to you. Please like, share and subscribe. I'll see you on the next one. This is Tube Digger and I'm out.